a TSBVI outreach tutorial. APH Graphic Aid for Mathematics, aka Graph Board. Part 3, Graphing a Straight Line on the Coordinate Plane. Example, y equals 1 half x plus 3. Presented by Susan Osterhaus, a Texas school for the blind and visually impaired outreach math consultant. Okay. All right, now we're, we're going to be, we, we have now advanced a little bit into what I, I'm going to call pre-algebra. And you'll notice I've selected another board just to prove to you that this old board is just as good as the new board. We've already got the x-axis held down by thumbtacks and the y-axis held down by thumbtacks and we have a bunch of push pins for the students up here in the right hand corner. And what we're going to graph is y equals one half x plus three. Well, there are various ways to graph this, which is, a, this happens to be the equation for a straight line, but we're going to start with the y-intercept. As I said, it's the equation y equals one half x plus three. So we're going to start with that plus 3. That's where this line is going to cross the y-axis. So we start at the origin, and we count up 1, 2, 3, and we go ahead and put a push pin right there. Okay, so we have the 3 of the y equals 1 half x plus 3. Now, I'm not going to go into too detail of a math lesson, but it's usually we think of a, a linear equation in the form y equals mx plus b or y equals ax plus b. So the m, or the slope, in this case is 1 half. So if we start with the y-intercept and we want to do something with that slope, it's telling us we start at this point and we go rise over run. So 1 over 2, rise over run. We're going to go up 1, because that's positive, and the 2 is positive. We're going to the right, 2, and we're going to plot another point. And believe it or not, I tell the students they don't have to graph that many points. But what do those students do? They, they go ahead and start with that point, go up 1 to the right 2, up 1 to the right 2, and they are busily doing, and I hope I'm doing enough of these, zipping away up 1 to the right 2, up one to the right two because they want to do as many as they can and then they run out of room over here and I go stop 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 and now this is a very nice look looking like a very nice straight line but I bet this straight line doesn't just occur in quadrant one remember this is quadrant one I bet it goes down over here through quadrant two and into quadrant three so how are we going to get there okay we're going to again start with our y-intercept and 1 over 2 or 1 half can also be written negative 1 over negative 2 and you still get the same result. So they quickly learn that they can go down 1 and to the left 2 and they start plotting points. Again, I don't really tell them they have to do this many, but they just get carried away and want to keep doing points until it's practically or completely across the board. And they do this much faster than I'm doing it right now, believe me. So they're zipping along, and then they can make an, let me see if I've got one here that's already together. Okay, I already got one that's at least got two. Then they can connect the dots, and if we really want to be sure we're not popping anything, <laughs> get everything down good and tight. And then the students can actually look at this and decide whether they did everything correctly. Oh my gosh, I was trying to make a mistake. I think I may have done everything correctly. And by that, I mean, if you did have a point out of the wrong, basically, when they looked at this, they'd go, whoa, whoa, boy, there's something definitely wrong with that. Where should that be? Right there. So it's, I mentioned this earlier, that it's really self-correcting. So what you now have got is the graph of the equation y equals 1 half x plus 3. The y-intercepts at 3, and the slope is 1 over 2. And again, you can get that by going down one and to the left two. So, like I said, students will sit there and graph and graph and graph and graph and have a lot of fun graphing this particular straight line. And that's something that they're starting to do already in pre-algebra. Certainly in Algebra 1, they should be able to do this very quickly. And like I said before, I use this with low vision students, totally blind students, deaf blind students. Everybody can use this unless if they have a real problem with their hands. I did have a student who had, could, had only the use of one hand. No problem for him at all. He zipped right through this. So again, graphing on the coordinate plane. And in this case, we were graphing a straight line. This video continues in the TSBVI Outreach Tutorial Series, APH Graphic Aid for Mathematics. 
Look for other videos by Susan Osterhaus on math for the blind and visually impaired. APH is American Printing House for the Blind. A TSBVI Outreach Distance Learning Production. Executive Producers, William Daugherty, Superintendent. Cyril Miller, Outreach Director. Outreach Producers, Susan Osterhaus, Math Consultant. Mike Bicknell, Media Specialist. Texas School for the Blind and Visually Impaired Outreach Programs. 1100 West 45th Street, Austin, Texas 78756 USA. Telephone, 512-454-8631. Website, www.tsbvi.edu. Video copyright TSBVI 2009. All rights reserved.